The American Motorcyclists Association, or AMA, has released the official top 99 numbers for the AMA Supercross and Motocross seasons in 2022. Here are the national numbers which you can pause to look at before we share a few notes on the official list. In 2022, there will be a total of five different riders with number one plates on their respective bikes. In Monster Energy AMA Supercross, Justin Cooper, 1W, and Colt Nichols, 1E, will defend their respective 250SX Regional Championships as Cooper Webb will run the number one on his Red Bull KTM in the 450SX class. In the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship, Jet Lawrence, 250 class, and Dylan Ferrandez, 450 class, will look to defend their number one plates. Both Lawrence and Ferrandez won national titles and therefore were able to pick a single digit number but both passed and they stuck with number 18 and number 14 respectively. Speaking of single digit numbers, the only lost number for 2022 was number four. Blake Baggett raced as number four from 2014 through 2020, but he did not compete in 2021, which calls for him to lose the retention of his number. We have heard the AMA attempted to contact Baggett to ask if he wanted to keep his number one additional year, which is allowed if the rider requests it. Baggett did not respond. Without Baggett retaining number 4, it will join number 5, number 8, and number 13, a superstitious unlucky number that the AMA allows riders to pass up on, as the four unused numbers next year. Christian Craig was the lowest earning rider without a career number and chose to pass on number 13. Craig will be number 28 next year. Similar to Baggett, Chad Reed and Justin Hill did not compete in 2021, which would mean they both lose their numbers for 2022. However, we have heard that both Reed and Hill did request to hold their numbers, number 22 and number 46 respectively, for another year. Following a year where there were no new career numbers, there are four different riders who earned career numbers this year. Number 18, Jet Lawrence, number 30, Joe Shimoda, number 45, Colt Nichols, and number 96, Hunter Lawrence. Two riders have not earned career numbers, but have lucked into earning the same number in consecutive years. For both 2021 and 2022, Max Anstey will be number 34, and Robbie Wageman will be number 69. And shout out to Robbie's older brother, RJ Wageman, who will be number 99, the last two-digit number of 2022. The Wageman brothers and the Lawrence brothers joined the Martin brothers, Jeremy number 6 and Alex number 26, as the third set of brothers to have a national number in 2022. Over 20 riders went from triple digit numbers in 2021 into the top 99 for 2022. Brock Tickle, who has raced as number 20 for several years now, raced Supercross with the Smart Top Bullfrog Spas Moto Concepts Honda team, but moved into a testing role with Monster Energy Kawasaki team towards the end of the year. There is yet to be anything announced if he could become a fill in rider if needed, but if Tickle does line up, he will have his career number number 20 ready to go. Ryan Surratt was number 951 in 2021, not the highest number to race this year, but he will be the highest number to make his way into the top 99 for 2022, as he will become number 58. Martin Davalos, who would have been number 53 in 2022, announced his retirement from pro racing in May of 2021. And Wilson Fleming, who would have been number 86 in 2022, also announced his retirement from pro racing earlier this month. For the full list of the top 99 numbers, visit racerxonline.com. That's all for this edition of RacerX Rapid News presented by Fly Racing. Be sure to visit racerxonline.com for all of your AMA Supercross and Motocross news.